Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Today I got something special for you guys here on the Billy Ray channel. All right. I want you guys to check out this portfolio, man. There's a great portfolio from a young developer in the Philippines. I think this portfolio is something that we can all look at and say, damn, this guy put in that work. Okay. So let's get into it. All right. So we're going to open up a new tab and we're going to go in here and his name is Michael Dave Enoch, right? He says, hello, I'm Michael based in Philippines. I'm a passionate and creative front end developer with experience in creating high polish interfaces for the web and mobile. Okay. So shout out to him so far. I like it. I like the little animation that we get when we come in. Okay. It's pretty nice. Nice welcoming Uh, little screen. You scroll down. See some animations, pretty nice. Okay, everything fades in. Okay, personal projects, pages, right? And there we go. Okay, looks actually pretty damn good. Um, it's different, right? It's definitely different. It's definitely something that can catch your attention. Now, again, for those of you guys wondering about a portfolio, what exactly is your portfolio supposed to do? First of all, it's supposed to make you stand out from everybody else. All right. Most people is going to come in with little BS portfolios that look like it was made from a geo cities website. Right. So I'm pretty sure you guys have seen this type of websites. <laughs> this is the type of portfolios I'll be seeing sometimes. Okay. And sometimes the developers just say, well, I'm a developer. I focus on the code. I don't know about design. I don't care about design. I don't care what people look at. You should care about my code. It's functional. Yes, it's functional. It's a great portfolio. Okay, cool. You got some cool projects. But if it looks like shit, it shows that, you know what? You're not ready for prime time. You've never worked at a real company. You've never done real work. Okay. And at the end of the day, if you are a self taught developer or somebody that's trying to get a job right now, right? You want to stand out because that's what your portfolio is for. Your portfolio is for you to stand out in the sea of developers. Okay. Everybody could code out here. That's the truth guys. And most likely the person that's going to watch or look at your portfolio is somebody who is not a developer is most likely either a project manager or HR girl, or CEO, a founder, right? And they want to see that somebody has done, you know, quality work. They just, you know, that's how they is going to see your work and going to say, Hey, this guy actually has done this before. Let's give him a chance and, and let's give him a call. Okay. So again, this portfolio is pretty damn legit. Now let's go into the projects on crystal let's see click on the website okay it looks pretty nice okay this is like a, a software as a service type website nice looks pretty good i like it um again this is a front-end developer so this is what we're gonna be judging him on we're focusing on the front end all right for those of you guys that are back-end developers you might say well i don't need to have my design or my website to look good it's like nah bro you actually yes you do <laughs> all right uh this is another one candy okay pretty nice okay i like what i'm seeing very good work and this is just all lowering ipsum so pretty much it's not a real client this is him uh simulating that this is a, a client that he got all right um a lot of the things that i will say about this is first of all bro you gotta invest in yourself you gotta get a domain you have a beautiful portfolio and if you have a beautiful portfolio bro invest ten dollars it doesn't cost you that much ten dollars to get a domain you could continue to host it in a static site website like this and you could just put it on netlify it's free and you could have a custom domain it's going to make you look like a professional and somebody who's already getting money as a developer. And it's just going to make you stand out. Trust me. Okay. Cause GitHub pages, Heroku apps, they're cool, but it tells somebody like, this is like some boot camp graduate. This is like some guy doing, you know, courses online. So this is the only thing that I could say that I will improve out of your portfolio. Your portfolio is legit, man. Um, so again, you have a lot of good, uh, projects in here and just like exactly what I tell people uh, to get projects that look like you're doing it for a business okay why would a business hire you if you've never done any type of websites like the ones that they have 
Okay, you've never worked on any projects like the ones that they're about to put you on. So why would they give you that opportunity, right? So by having websites like this, this is just pretty much landing pages and, and, and websites that, you know, uh, any company could hire you and say, okay, this guy's ready to go. All right. This is not a beginner. This is a dude that's ready for prime time. Okay. Uh, the next thing that we have right here, right? Let's see the Leo. Okay. All right. A little party never killed nobody. Okay. Pretty nice. Nice animation. Okay. Pretty nice. So now this is like a, a creative type website. Again, for those of you guys that don't know, this is like the type of websites that you would do at an agency. So it's pretty nice. I like it. There's another one. Welcome to Carcodia. The final standards of real estate development in Brazil. All right. Very good work. Okay. Again, he's sticking to the theme that I told you guys working on projects that looks like he was doing it for a company. Like this is a guy that, you know, any company that will see this type of work will say, you know what? We want to hire this guy because he already has clients, right? Even if this projects are not for a real client they look like they're like for a real client so it, it lets you know like you know what this guy is the guy that we need in our company okay very nice okay good work guy <laughs> good work my guy okay this is a trailer hut okay this is like movie idb type website or movie api right so pretty nice it tells us that you know he knows how to use the front end he knows how to connect with apis okay he create a filter let's say spider-man let's see if this works okay it does work all right let's see pretty nice let me see if you got star wars in here all right there you go if you got star wars that's an extra plus <laughs> okay very good job michael all right now the next one that we have right here okay since 1880 earth global da 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 regional memorial palawan cebu city okay take action actions charities books podcasts very nice okay so this portfolio is legit guys i can't really say much other than you know investing in yourself and actually uh putting custom domains for for this projects is just gonna make you look even more legit okay that's the only thing that i will say now another thing that i will say is i don't know if you're using any frameworks on these things okay so you are using react and you're using uh gatsby okay that's cool uh but it will be cool for you to put that information in here let the person know okay what exactly is it that you're gonna be using for this or what type of skills you have sometimes you know we might say don't add you know level 100 on react right but mentioning the things that you do know like hey i know html css javascript sas um i know how to work with react the react router um i know how to use gatsby i know how to use node.js i know how to use express like sometimes having that information is good to know because the person might come in here and say okay all of these projects are legit uh but they might not have this uh extension right here where they could see exactly what what it is that you're using right so they might not be able to know what exactly is that you're using to build this type of websites so it's good to have a section inside of your portfolio where you at least tell them hey man i know how to use gsap i know how to use uh scroll magic i know how to use react right so at least for that person who might give you the opportunity and give you that first call so you could get that internship or sorry that interview um basically you at least let them know this is the skills that 
that I know. So if they have a list there and they're like, okay, we're looking for a React developer, we're looking for a JavaScript developer, we're looking for a guy who does Angular, now you let them know ahead of time and they don't have to go into your resume to find these things out. You're already given that information on your website. So besides that, this is a pretty damn legit website, guy. Okay? So thank you for sending this to me, man. It's a great example of, of what happens when uh, you put in some work into your own portfolio and... Yeah, it looks legit, man. I pretty much don't have much to say other than good things about this portfolio. Okay, it's maybe two things, get custom domains and putting a section to actually have your skills and, and like that the person knows exactly how you build this type of websites. All right, so congratulations, you're killing it. All right, but by the way, anybody that's watching this right now, guys, go to codingphase.com. If you wanna learn how to code, this is like the Netflix of development, all right? Everything that you need to become a developer is in here. All right. Literally 20 bucks per month gives you access to all the programming courses. A yearly subscription is going to give you guys even more than that. Right. All career bundles, make money online courses, things like the entrepreneur developer course, things like the Shopify app developer, the Shopify theme developer, the new Salesforce course that's coming out. Okay. You get access to all of that when you sign up for a yearly subscription. Now for the monthly subscription, you get access to all the programming courses. Okay. Either way is a very good deal for you. Okay. $20 per month or $3.97 per year. And with a 50% off that you're going to get on the description right now, you can't even go wrong, man. It's ten dollars per month and one hundred ninety-eight dollars per year. That's great. Trust me, it's worth the money. Okay, it's better than a lot of the things that's out here in this world. All right. So, anyways, man, it's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingPhase.com at the Billy Rate channel. Make sure you subscribe to this channel right here and check the description, guys. There's gonna be a couple of links in there that you're gonna really enjoy. And yeah. Uh, give you guys some good resources, man. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Peace.